Hey guys, it's Carol Roy from VMworld 2009, and I'm talking with Samir Delakia, the CEO of VM Logics. How are you, Samir? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks. Thanks Good. for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. I know that you guys are making a couple of announcements this week. Yes. Let's talk about them. You have a next gen announcement, and also one around probably the hottest topic we're talking about this week is cloud. You bet, you bet. I'll take uh, each of those in turn. So the first announcement is uh, about our 3.8 release uh, of VMLogix Lab Manager. Uh, the, the, the primary um, addition of that release is really around providing next generation support for uh, both the VMware and Microsoft platform. So in, on the VMware case, we have um, first class support for vSphere. Um, which many of our customers are excited to move towards, uh, which is great. Um, as part of that really, uh, support of VMware, of vSphere, we also added vCenter support, which has been great for uh, some of our enterprise customers who are interested in taking advantage of vMotion and uh, DRS, HA, those types of things. Um, we're also adding support for Microsoft Hyper-V R2. Um, we, we've had support uh, for R1 and, and are, are very excited about the new capabilities that have uh, uh, been delivered by our friends at Microsoft in R2 and, and uh, are seeing some, some interesting customer uh, uh, traction and interest in that, in that platform. So, uh, and, and of course for VMLogix, one of our core uh, differentiators or capabilities is the ability to manage both of those within the same lab. So, uh, customers can pick and choose if they want to use vSphere, Hyper VR2, or um, in some of our customers' cases, they can use both uh, and use our solution at the same time. So that's the first release. Uh, the second release is our uh, the GA of our uh, Lab Manager Cloud Edition. Um, we uh, we announced our beta of it uh, a couple months ago. Uh, have had a, a very successful beta program, uh, generate a lot of interest. It's basically the, the first um, and only currently lab management solution on a public cloud, uh, particularly on um, Amazon's EC2 has been the, the first implementation. Uh, and, and it's terrific, it allows folks to have a true pay-as-you-go uh, lab management solution on top of um, the, the gold standard in, in public cloud computing, which is Amazon EC2. Uh, we've had lots of uh, conversations with other public cloud providers, uh, which we'll continue to work on as we go forward, but uh, we're excited to have any, any users out there who are uh, Amazon uh, web service uh, evangelists and, and uh, advocates, by all means, please take a look at our Lab Manager Cloud Edition. Uh, we really think it'll uh, streamline and simplify your uh, your management of that of, of that infrastructure to, to seamlessly be able to provision uh, multi VM instances, uh, uh, multi Amazon machine images or AMIs with a single <laughs> click. Um, it allows you to do things like uh, add user management uh, so that you can control who has access to what kinds of images and how you can put quotas in place so there are policies that IT can set to say, gee, I don't want to have um, everybody in the organization uh, uh, spinning these things up. Only these types of folks can turn them on and here's how much they can use this many concurrent VMs or this much storage. Um, we tend to liken it to the uh, uh, a notion of a CIO laying out a, a credit card at an open bar. Um, it, it gets a little risky. You don't know what the bill is going to be at the end of the month. Whereas <laughs> could be you, good, could be real bad. Or could be real bad. <laughs> uh, whereas uh, if you layer Lab, VMLogix Lab Manager Cloud Edition on top of um, EC2, you get the benefit of being able to control who gets access to the resources, how much of them they're getting to access. You can prioritize who has, um, who gets access when, those types of things. So, uh, so it's it's quite a bit of sophistication in terms of management capability on top of the the underlying infrastructure. Now you guys are tending to be really dynamic, lots of new stuff coming up. For the folks that are lucky enough to be here in San Francisco, where can they find you on the VMworld floor and what exactly will you be showing them or previewing? You bet. Um, please come by and visit us. We're, we're in booth uh, 2327 uh, in the exhibit hall floor. Uh, we'll be showing our VMLogix Lab Manager product, which is uh, the standard edition on-premise. Uh, we'll be showing our uh, VMLogix Lab Manager Cloud Edition, which I just talked uh, was describing running on top of EC2. Uh, and I'll give you a little teaser on uh, the next version of the solution coming out, which is our Lab Manager Hybrid Cloud Edition, HCE, uh, which will allow you from a single pan glass to manage uh, on-premise virtual resources that can be running VMware, Microsoft Hyper-V, uh, uh, Red Hat KVM, Citrix Zen Server, what have you, uh, as well as public resources up in the cloud, all from the same pane of glass. It's, it's uh, pretty fun stuff. So please stop by and say hello. Absolutely. And we look forward to hearing more about the announcements as they happen. Samir, thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Carol. Appreciate it.